Hello, we are making boats today. That's right. Last week we made some squishies. Uh, this week we are going to be making a boat. Um, so let's hop straight into Blender. Okay, so we start out with this scene of a cube. Um, I'm going to go ahead and delete the cameras. I'm just going to, don't really need that. I'm going to say, you know, I'm going to quickly, from the beginning, I'm just going to name the collection folder. I'm going to name this Mr. Rizzo period, we'll call it period three. It could be period five or it could be period six. Just kind of choose which one. So I'm going to just do period three. Um, and I'm going to name this boat. Um, and this is important just for keeping us knowledge. Uh, this is the outliner on this window right here. Uh, this is the uh, kind of the viewport, the 3D viewport. So let's start out by, uh, we already have a cube. This is actually going to be great for our first start. So let's go ahead and I'm just going to scale up this cube. So I'm going to scale it up on the x-axis. I'm hitting SX, then SY to kind of make this into a long boat-ish shape. Let's see, S, Z, um, S, Z. It's gonna look kind of like a brick. Um, let's just kind of, just kind of eyeball on this here. Um, let's see, does this look good? Yeah, get a little bit more. Uh, maybe a little bit less, a little less. I'm just hitting S, Z to scale up, S, X to kind of lengthen it, S, Y to go like this, uh, and strengthen it a little bit more. Let's, let's make our boat a little wider. Yeah, there we go. Okay, so we are gonna go ahead and start modeling the boat. Now that we have our proportions blocked in, let's start by adding some edge loops. Uh, we're gonna be adding some edge loops because we want to add a little bit more geometry to control the boat. So first off, we're gonna go, uh, I'm gonna go into from object mode to edit mode, and then you click on the loop cut tool. We're gonna to start with one edge loop. You see if I mouse over this middle part here, this yellow edge illuminates. I'm gonna click that, and now there's one edge straight down the middle. I'm going to do one here, and one here, and one here. And this should kind of, and notice how each one is in equal parts. So like we have a, in total one, two, three, four uh, edge loops that we've made. Uh, this is going to be kind of the base, uh, you know, like line of the boat. How we're gonna have, we're gonna need more control in the front than we're gonna need in the back because the, you know, a boat's hull curves upward. Okay, now we need to add four edge loops here. So before I, uh, I'm still in the edge loop tool, or the, uh, the loop cut tool, and, and it's edge loop, it's loop cut, it's the same thing. Just knowing that it creates an edge loop that loops around the mesh is really important. And what are edges again? Edge, edges are these lines, and vertexes, uh, vertexes are the little points, and then faces are the kind of the blocks of geometry, the little faces. Okay, so I'm gonna need to add four edge loops to this. So let's go ahead and let's see. Okay, up here, we can actually set this to number of cuts. I'll set that to four. So let's go ahead and add uh, our four edge loops. So I set this to four, bam. Okay, that made four edge loops. That's really nice. Uh, Deselect everything. Um, and now we have kind of the basic uh, geometry set up for our boat. Now we're going to be uh, starting to adjust these edge loops a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and switch to uh, the edge select mode. And this edge select mode allows us to select individual edges. Whereas vertexes allows us to select the dots. Uh, edge select mode uh, allows us to select entire edges. Um, and then face select mode allows us to select faces. So just making sure that you're switching between these whenever you ask like, oh, why, why isn't it working? Make sure you're on the right select mode and that will be the good one to go to. Switch to edge select mode and we're gonna select the two individual, we're gonna select these entire loops. Now there's a hotkey here, it's alt click. And notice how when I hit alt click, if I click and press alt at the same time, it'll select the entire edge loop around the mesh. 
Let's also do that for this. Oh yeah, we need to also hold Shift at the same time. Shift, Alt, click. Bam! Now we have these two edge loops selected. We're going to uh, scale them inwards uh, on the x-axis. And really on mine, it's the x-axis because this is red. S, X. And then I'm going to scale them in a little bit. Um, to about, about there. A little right there. And then we're going to um, scale these edge loops out. So let's Alt-click on this edge loop. And then Shift, Alt-click. Remember, Shift Shift is how you select multiple things at once. So Shift, Alt-click, bam. We got that edge loop selected. We got the other edge loop selected. I'm going to hit S, X to bring this out. You know, so then it's about here. Yeah, that's looking great. Okay, now... Uh, we're going to go to the top camera view, um, and we're going to turn on the x-ray mode, the x-ray. You know, it lets us see through the mesh. Let's deselect everything. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start kind of, uh, kind of collapsing these edges to make a boat shape. Okay, so now we're going to be kind of shaping the bow of the boat. So we are in top view now, and to get to top view, we hit the top, the, the Z-axis uh, button here, and that will get us into the top view of a mesh. Let's start by selecting the front here, hitting SX. This will scale on the X-axis. We're going to bring this down because it needs to be kind of this, this tapered point to the boat. So let's do this one now, SX. Let's see, I'm just kind of trying to get this boat kind of nailed down. Let's do this one, SX, and then SX. I'm just kind of blocking in. I'm going to kind of refine this a little bit. Let's see here. So about there, this one needs to be a little wider. This one needs to be a little wider. And we're trying to kind of block in the whole of the boat. I'm using SX because it's scaling on the x-axis. We don't want it to scale on the z-axis or the y-axis or else it's going to be smashed. Because if we scale it on the, the like if we just hit S, um, it's just going to scale and it's going to make this weird taper, this weird hourglass shape. We don't want that. We want SX and that will move uh, that. So that's looking good to me. Let's move on to the side profile. So let's go to the X, let's click on the X, and now we're in the side view. And making sure, you know, we still have X-ray, uh, this is toggle X-ray mode, and then the uh, wireframe shading mode, this will make it so that we can actually click through both sides. Because if we, for some reason, don't have this on, if we don't turn on the X-ray mode, um, when we select a, uh, an, uh, a vertex, it will only select this half of the of the of the mesh, and we, we don't want that. We we want to see straight through it. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to start kind of collapsing uh, each one of these vertexes up to create the hull, so it kind of has a nice curve. Okay, so let's start creating the hull. GZ. Let's see here. That's looking good to me. GZ. GZ. Remember, GZ is up or down. You know. Then we're going to bring this one up, GZ. Uh, GZ. Easy, breezy, beautiful cover girl. That's what it's all about. GZ. I'm just going to kind of kind of eyeball these proportions a little bit. So I'm going to GZ. And then GZ. I'm going to try to get a nice shape, you know? So we now have a sloped uh, profile of the hull. 